Hey guys, just wanted to make an update video on uh, GPEC 2A Unlock. Uh, customer sent in a 2020 Dodge Charger 6.4 liter. Needs it unlocked and the VATS shut off uh, and also a VIN change. So to start with, you can open it up, flip all those tabs up, pry it apart, or you can take an old plate these just push down into those holes you line it up and you can drill right there uh, with a spot weld tool so that you don't drill all the way through and then you pop it out with a pick um, this is just a template uh, I'm just gonna print these out of um, plastic on the 3d printer it'll just be these two and then a piece like this and you'll set it on there and you'll know right where, where to drill. I just haven't got around to it yet. And the hole won't be oblonged like that, weird. But uh, you'll just take a spot weld tool, you'll drill down uh, till you're about through it, and then you'll pop the little circle out with a pick. And then you won't even have to open it. You'll just be able to take, uh, take this, go right down in and touch where you need to touch so that you connect to these. But I do not have the, 3d print uh, file done yet so you guys will have to wait for that um, I'll have it soon so we get it open first things first we got to connect our uh, OBD star here so once we have those hooked up uh, it's actually only five wires is the minimum amount of wires you got your two positives a ground and your can low and can high. Uh, you don't need this positive, um, but I hook it up anyway. It'll read and write just fine without it. But there's our pin out that we use. So once we have that pinned out, then we're going to hook up the GPT-1 wire. It's the purple wire. And you're gonna be touching right there. And uh, with that template, when you pop that little circle out, it's going to be right above this. So you'll be able to come in from the top and just touch right on that little guy. There's a better zoomed in picture. You might be able to see it a little bit better. All right. So we just go ahead and hit uh, connect. And then, okay. We'll touch this little guy right here. And once that pops up and starts writing the bootloader, you can just get rid of that wire. Don't need it anymore. All right, now that we're connected, we're gonna go ahead and read the EEPROM. And we're gonna be using the, the bot to do all this, the Telegram bot right here on the tablet. Everything is gonna be on the tablet. No transferring files, no using the laptop, the entire unlock, bin change, all gonna be done on the tablet. So to do that, we're gonna need to change the name of it because the bot has to have the name formatted a certain way. So that's gonna be the year, which is 2020. The make, which is Dodge. And the model, which is Charger. And I always just put a E at the end of it, so I know it's the EEPROM. Okay. Then we're gonna read the internal flash. We're gonna do the same thing on the name here. Okay. All right, now that we're done with that, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go to Telegram, which we installed on the tablet. We're gonna go to the ECU unlocker. We're gonna go unlock file, 
Dodge, GPEG 2A. It wants us to submit our file. We're gonna go to file, SD card, scroll down to DP, then this long number, then data, and we have it right there, 2020 Dodge Charger. We know that's the internal one because it doesn't have the E at the end. It's not the EEPROM. Submit that. Now it wants the EEPROM. Same process. scroll down and find the EEPROM, which is right here, and submit that. Now it is unlocking the file. All right, it gave us our file back. So we're gonna hit these dots here, save to downloads, So it saved it into the downloads. Now we're gonna go to the file explorer, downloads. Right there's our, our file. If you get it, if it downloads and it says zero, oops, it says zero megabytes there like that, just go back and download it one more time. I'm not sure why, but every now and then it wants to uh, download weird like that. So there we have four megabytes. Now let's go back to, all right, once you've saved it and it says four megabytes right there, we will then hold this down, cut. You can copy it too if you want it to also stay in there. I always cut it so I don't have any more in there when I go to uh, do another one. Go to internal storage, DP, this long number, data. We're gonna paste that in there. And we're gonna come back to the program that we flashed it with or read it with. We're gonna go to write internal flash, load external data. Okay, right there is your one that's unlocked that Telegram gave us back. Okay, yes. And that's gonna write our unlock file. So if all you're doing is unlocking it, that's all you need to do. Once this is done writing, you'll hit disconnect and it'll be done. Um, we're also going to change the VIN and disable the security through the tablet. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. All right, so that's done. We unlocked it. You could unplug this, uh, hook it up to HP tuners, you'd be able to read and flash it. We also, this customer wants to change the VIN number to match his car. Uh, what he did was he had a V6 car, he did a 6.4 engine swap, and now he needs the 6.4 parameters to work on the V6 car with the V6 VIN. So he's got a 6.4 computer here with the wrong VIN, and he needs his VIN in it so that the car will start and run. Um, and we're also just gonna go ahead and turn off the security at the same time, uh, just to basically double down um, and make sure that this thing's gonna work for him. So we're gonna go to Telegram. Oh, wrong one. I'm gonna go to Telegram. I'm gonna go to skim slash bin, dodge. And upload our, oops. Upload our EEPROM file. It 
which is right here, the one with the E at the end. Do you want to update the VIN? Yes, we do. Now we're gonna enter the VIN in right here. All right, I've entered the 17 digit VIN in. Skim status, we want that disabled. And here is our new file. We'll go to save to downloads. Go here. ES File Explorer, downloads. Right there's our mod. Going to cut it. And we're gonna go to internal storage. DP, the long number, data, we're going to paste that in. Then we're going to go back to our programmer. We're going to go write external EEPROM, load data from load external data, sorry. And right there is our modified EEPROM with the E at the end. It says mod at the front. Okay. Yes. All right, successful. So now we'll take this thing over to HP Tuners, make sure that uh, it accepted our, our VIN there and that uh, everything reads correct. Make sure it uh, Reads as a 6.4 liter still um, and has the the V6 VIN number. All right, we got her hooked up to the bench harness that I made and a HP tuner here. Gonna go ahead and gather info first, make sure that VIN came up. Should end in 5.5.3, which it does says it's a V6. I'm going to go ahead and read it. Make sure that it doesn't come up as a V6 in the tuning aspect of it. So like I said before, this is his VIN number, the 553. Any 553, it's for a V6 car. Uh, you can see it's a, it says it's a 2016 Dodge Challenger SXT now 3.6 liter but it actually has the tuning for a 2020 6.4 liter uh, charger in it when we open it up that's what it should be in there we're gonna verify that all right this is done reading and we're saving the file now I just wanted to show you this this is our original OS you can see right there and this is the new OS. So you can see that it, that it did change. This is the OS for the, for the V6. And this would be the OS for the V8. So as you can see, the security is disabled there. We'll go over to engine. You can see 6.4 liter. Even though, let's see, calibration data, even though we have it listed as a V6. And just to make sure that it is unlocked, we'll just try to write the file with no changes. There it goes, so we know it's unlocked. So that is a very easy and simple way. Uh, I know a lot of you have been having problems and a lot of questions uh, with manually changing the hex code um, and needing to change VINs and wanting to turn off security. Um, that should basically address everything you need and you'll be able to do everything right on the uh, DC-706, right on the 
uh, tablet itself. You'll just have to download the uh, APK for Telegram and install it, and you're good to go.